Hello, my name is Daniel Dugan. This is my art studio we we're about to walk into. Uh, I'm here in Hollywood, California, and uh, this is my work. Every piece is one continuous line that has a beginning and an end, and the line never breaks, never crosses. It represents time and the idea that life is chaotic, and we can surrender to that path. This piece starts here. It's all hand-drawn, and it goes on a path that reveals itself to me. I try to get lost as much as possible so that I don't know and I'm not controlling it. And it ends there. And here we go. All right, so this is the first room. Um, when I first got the studio, I only had one room, so now I luxuriously have two rooms. Um, this one holds a lot of my art that I started in 2014. So these are all a lot of very early exper experiments. Um, this one, for example, was where I learned uh, to embrace this mistake. These little drops were not what I intended. So I had two choices to either, you know, accept that it wasn't perfect and circle each little drop and say this is what happened or try to hide it. So I thought it was a better metaphor for life to accept it and say this drop happened, this drop happened, I accept what happened. Um, so that the line can be what I want to control and the drops are the reality of life. So. It helps me uh, accept life in all the different ways that it happens for you. So these pieces are all uh, different um, materials I'm experimenting with. This is acrylic mousse. This is acrylic. Um, these are glass beads. Uh, this one I made in Cuba. Uh, my mom's from Cuba, so I went there two years ago to find her house. And I found it, and I got to go in. Uh, and I'm going back, actually, in two weeks. Uh, but I made, like, four or five pieces when I was there. So this is one of them, kind of inspired by the, the colors of Cuba. Um, I wanted to draw on a piece of furniture, so I, I found this um, old couple like three years, three years. Um, so I met this couple online uh, who had old church pews. So I bought the, the pew from them, sanded it down. It's got uh, the gum still on the bottom, which I kept. I painted over it, but I wanted to keep the history and the idea that, well, the fact that you know thousands of prayers have been said on this bench, and I wanted to kind of keep that sacred. So. Um, I sanded it down, painted it black, and then painted the creation of man uh, with a line starting in the fingers. And um, yeah, so I, I bought two, two benches actually, so there's another one in the other room. Uh, so this is kind of the beginning of, I don't know, either a series of church pews or furniture. So this is probably one of my favorite pieces. This one, um, I'm constantly experimenting with materials. So instead of using regular paper or canvas, I wanted to use um, this paper called amate paper. It's made out of compressed bark in Mexico and it was used in ancient book binding. Uh, it's actually sustainable because they shave the bark off the tree and it grows back. So um, this, using this as a canvas, I applied my line, made the line like a turning, twisting, uh, perfectly spaced line, and then after I made it perfect and painted mica flakes in each part of the black, I wanted to disrupt it and be okay with it not being perfect. So I drop different drops of gold and black um, kind of like I did with the, the red and white one and allow myself to go through and circle every little drop and just acknowledge them for what they are. This is what happened. I did not plan this. I did not want this, um, but I accept it and can realize that, you know, there's something beautiful about it. So that's, uh, that's really the message of all the pieces, that their meditations on surrendering to the flow of life, remembering that life is always happening for you, not to you, especially when it doesn't feel like it. A few years ago, I wanted to see what a letter looked like or a word so for whatever reason I chose yes <laughs> and it just happened to fit into the philosophy of the line so the line starts here this is actually um, laser engraved into acrylic and I wanted to make an infinity mirror light box so this is the one I chose to use um, it's actually uh, color changing so I can show you it's interactive I like to make as many interactive pieces as possible so so it's grum it's like a mood enhancing yay So essentially I can translate any of my work into the infinity mirror light box. Um, the same with uh, these wood engravings. So any of the work can be translated this way. These are all just one-off experiments using different materials. So this one was laser cut in acrylic and then inlaid into this African Wenge wood. Wow. So I wanted to mix uh, a beautiful exotic wood with acrylic. And it's uh, inlaid, inlaid um, into the wood with no glue. So it just snaps in like a tight circuit. Um, so yeah, I want to continue to play with wood. Ciao, what's up guys? Hi. How are you? Nice to see you too. Welcome, welcome. Uh, these are my friends. They're going to come for a studio tour. This is Maya and Tao. Ciao, ciao. Perfect timing. Okay, perfect.
Uh, we just started the tour, but we can continue, and I can talk to you know yes, please. other people. Yes, yes please. please. You know. That's even cooler. Is that? Yeah, this is cooler. Yeah, it's actually a perfect time. Give them a tour. Yeah. Um, can I get you a coffee or anything? I have a, a coffee, tea, soda, beer, wine. Yeah, tea. <laughs> um, this is your coffee, actually. Do you want uh, coconut milk? I can give it to you, my brain. My brain cup. I'm going to drink my own brain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This will make you smarter. Uh, you know, I think. <laughs> you may want a coffee. That's the piece of coral that, um, that actually let me realize that my pattern was a naturally existing pattern. Yeah. So I found this in Honduras. It's like a brain pattern. Like a brain pattern. Yeah, but the line is like, brain. it's all about the line being perfectly spaced. You know, the space yeah. from here to there is the same. So I was underwater and I saw these huge boulders when I was snorkeling a few years ago. And I'm like, how did my art get down here? And then I realized that, you know. You didn't touch this. No, I mean, I painted it gold and black. Um, but I was able to see that, you know, this like wandering pattern is actually called reaction diffusion or diffusion reaction. Yeah. Um, so it's a naturally occurring pattern. So this pattern is found on coral and on fish. Yeah, uh, and it was like a sign to me that uh, there's something in it that's natural yeah. to keep going. So I came back to LA. Yeah. yeah, there's something like connected to nature. Did you it with gold or what? Yeah, I painted it in gold. There's another one I have that's uh, white, actually. Where is the white one? Um, there is a white one somewhere. Ah, here. Yes. So I want to make a, a life-size sculpture, like a huge replication of, a, of one of these in this kind of amorphous form, but it would be all, you know, my line. My version of, of a large coral. That would be really cool. Uh, so this is this one. Oh my god, I love that. That's so cool. I've been wanting to draw an octopus. Yes, yeah, it would yes, be so yes. cool with the tentacles. Yeah, it would be so cool. Yes, 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 yes. And they're so smart, obviously, you know, sentient. I have a little what? Right, you know, my little kitchen. You have a little secret room in there. A little secret, secret room. My friend uh, makes these beautiful hats in uh, Mexico. Here you get the... Uh, you get the yes cup. Oh my God. This will help you. This will help you say yes to life. Yes to what's happening. Where's your cup? Um, Even the tray. Oh my God. Even the tray. Uh -huh, yeah, we go. have so much merch. Merch. <laughs> yeah, so this is based on um, a pattern I did. Um, they sound an acrylic original. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what the rug is going to look like. We're going to have a... Oh, it's really hot. Maybe keep it on the tray. Yeah. Um, you got to have a scoop <laughs> Exactly. Keep to keep you. Burning. Exactly. It's very safe. Safety first around here. Um, what can I show you? Oh, yeah. Can I show you the... Um, where should we go next? Wherever. Um, so the, sure. So... The, um, so for the last few years, um, you know, when I couldn't be in the studio, if I was on an airplane or at home, I wanted to still be creative. So um, I started photographing all my art and then turning it into patterns. So I made all these patterns, like hundreds of patterns that I just was just for my own pleasure. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, you know, as time went on, I realized that they all should be printed on fabric or wallpaper. They could be upholstery. They could be, you know, they could be have some place in fashion. So this is one of the ones I love. Um, so this is based on a, a painting that's in the other room. There's a little monkey in there. Mm -hmm. So, and so many of them, like a little animal face or animals like appear in all of them. So um, it was un unintentional, but um, I think this little message, um, this one is obviously, um, I intentionally drew the bird, but um, I made a wallpaper out of this as well in the, in the next room. So there's a black, uh, there's a black wallpaper in the, the other room. This one is actually based, so I drew this on, um, so basically everything here is an experiment with a different material. So like I'll work with a different material and then try something else. So this one, uh, instead of using paint on this wood, uh, I used a wood stain. So it stained the wood and shows the, um, the grains. So from this one, this is like my twisting ribbon pattern. From that, I then made this. So, you know, it could be like a scarf or whatever. I don't know, a skirt. You know, we'll see. Um, yeah, it'll be a beautiful dress, and the pattern can get bigger. Um, the, the pineapples are a favorite. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a, a little fascination for pineapple. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's everywhere. Child. I, I feel like, um, you know, I was living in Paris, and uh, I, was, I was playing basketball there, and I was, I was just starting to, to really, like, sort of focusing on art. Yeah. But uh, I went through, like, a little depression because I didn't know where I, where I was, basically. So I had, like, a little Buddha head that's the size of a pineapple. Uh -huh. And then one time I just came back home and just put my new pineapple right next to it. And I was just looking at it, I was like, wow, this is just making me happy. I don't know wow. why. Yeah, so, so then all of a sudden, you know, I just, every time I eat that, I replaced it. And I, I really think that it, it just helped me keep, like, a positive mood throughout my day. Like, every yeah. time I wake up, I see it, you know, every time I come back, it's just... It's, and you replace it. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like your little... Uh, it's charismatic little, like, fruit. You know? I love it that. so much personality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so these pineapples are definitely special. They're, you know, they're, they're royal, they represent the hospitality. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, and as well, it's like anywhere where there's royalty, there's, there's pineapples, you know, pine cones. Yeah, pine cones, which yeah. are also like part of sacred geometry. And yeah. Pineal gland, yeah. which has your spirit molecules. In yeah, there. yeah. So like pine cones, you see, like they're, they're everywhere. You can say that? Yeah, all over yeah, the world. Yeah, spirit molecules. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's so cool that you resonate with pineapple. Pineapple, but I'm from Alabama, so they were, you know, in the South, there's pineapples everywhere. It was like the really? sign for hospitality. Yeah. Allegedly, the story, because uh, I was in Charleston, South Carolina, and the, oh my God. They, they explained that, um, <laughs> they, they explained that they, they would put, uh, they would put um, pineapples, uh, like, outside. So when, oh the guy, so when the guys came home from the war, they would know that there was food and they were bountiful, and it was kind of like a luxury to have, like, a pineapple on your... Uh, gate or a front so door. Are you, are you from Charleston? No, I'm actually from Alabama. It's, what were you doing in Charleston? Um, I was there for a job a few years ago. You won't yeah. believe it. I, I graduated from college in Charleston. No way, really? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, I played play basketball. There. Oh my god, that's yeah, so yeah. funny. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, I was there for. I was there for like a week. Yeah, yeah. I, was, uh, I was there a long time ago, 2006 to 2010. So. It's a beautiful campus. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's. I think it's the best. The best decision I made because it's like you can walk everywhere. You can. You, you know, there's a beach 10 minutes away. Yeah. The Kings. I live right on King Street, so. It's I wanted to go to that. There's like an island where there's a group of people that were, um, you know, in the slave days, they would develop their own language and they were kind of like sequestered on an island and they speak a different language. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get to go. Did you ever go? Yeah, I mean, which, which one? Uh, the, the Isle of Palms, there's the... Um, which island is it that they're on? I mean, North Charles. There's a lot of them yeah. in North Charles. So yeah. I didn't know there's a specific island. Yeah, but island or land area. Charles is all, all islands. So. Yeah. yeah. These are... Um, it's a lovely city, it's like another country. Yeah. And it's so crazy that the rest of America doesn't, doesn't know about the, the, Gichi, the Gichi culture. Yeah, why don't we know that? Yeah. Well, I can make some art around yeah. some of their imagery. I mean, these are the things I can do. I can turn yeah. anything into like the line, you know, and have a show there you and explain like a it. Palmetto tree with, with the kind of like this? Yeah. Palm tree? Uh, <laughs> um, these are my palm trees. Um, this could be, I don't know what it could be, it could be a lot of things. Um, and then wait till you see the wallpapers, the wallpapers are incredible. Um, so yeah, this is basically what I do. Yeah, so this one really looks like, and it looks like coral, you know. So I met this woman, um, I met this woman the other day and I happened to tell her, I was showing her some of the fabrics and I said, oh, you know, I see this as like a, an Aramis scarf collection. That's like mm -hmm. what I'd love to do. And um, three days later, she texted me and said, hey, I, I met the president of Aramis Canada and uh, showed her your work and she liked the idea. So they're going to, she's going to talk to her art director. So maybe something could happen there. But uh, before then, we're going to make our own. Yeah, I, I, so, yeah, I, I hang out with a hair of Aramis. Oh, you did? Yeah, like we just said that uh, like two, two, three weeks ago we were at the, at the club and it, yeah, Vanessa, she's one of the daughters. Oh my God, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so fun. The dancer was always like the best time. Yeah. Oh God, I want to meet her. Does she live here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been kind of like massaging, you know, just the relationship. I mean, it's just yeah. a good vibe from all of us. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. It's so fun. Um, this one is based on the one of the, the big pieces in the other this room. I love this. This one, is, uh, I don't want to Yeah, I love this one. And there's a dragon in there. Uh, the dragon right here. Yeah, just like the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the dragons are following me. <laughs> um, this one I love too. I can't wait to see it somewhere. I mean, these are all can be so many things. Um, I definitely see the scarves, but I'd love to like upholster like a whole sofa with some of these mm -hmm. or chairs, like two chairs. Um, yeah. So it's kind of limitless. <laughs> um, I mean, just like, the line. Just just like the, line. the line. It's like I can't stop. When I order them, when I order them, I just like oh, one more, one more, one more. Um, 
Um, this is one that's uh, this mandala I drew a few years ago. Um, so this one comes in, um, you know, I can alter the color, which is... So, so interesting, this is close to your Hermes son. It's yeah. Kind of, it's, it's kind of similar from that. And then these are uh, velvet. Some of them are. Um, like that, the pink one you saw just now, this one's on velvet. I love yeah, this. Love this one's velvet. sick. Yeah. Wow. Yes. So yes. good. Yeah. So this would be cool on a sofa or like upholstery, yeah, you know. But I want to keep everything in the art world, so I want it to be, you know, like a limited edition. Um, it's a party. Yeah, so party in the thing. I love it. And so this one has like a, <laughs> this one has like a kind of like a Mayan warrior kind of yeah. figure. With the two eyes and the nose oh, and the hands. Does, yeah. yeah. Right there. It really looks like a, a frequency, you know, like yeah, it's so somatic frequencies. Mm -hmm. when, you put, oh, yeah. when you put, you know, you turn the knob and yeah. you know, the sand on top of the, the plate. Just oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. Yeah, I want to do. I've seen that that test done where you yeah. have sand and you know, a speaker, mm -hmm. but to different frequencies. Or I want to. I want to replicate that exactly. according to different sounds, and then do my line version of that. And then have like some sort of. Like, I don't know. You could incorporate music with that. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some sort of, like, some sort of show. Like, yeah, in the room where you're viewing it, you'll hear the different music. Like, all the pieces, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be an amazing show. So that would be an amazing show. There's so many show ideas. I seem to find the right curator for, I guess, all of them. Um, I want... Yeah. It's so funny you said that, because I had this woman come to me. Um, yeah, it was this one. I had this woman, uh, the, one, the healer that gave me this dragon. She told me this pattern that has the dragon in it, that um, a royal family from India or England is going to do something with it, or I'll make something for them. So yeah. she said, like, hold on to this pattern until you meet them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 So maybe that means uh, maybe making making like you know making Marco a dress, <laughs> this, this or someone in India. It represents like life, like it does, yeah. and, and I feel like charisma, you know, and it just it just screams all those things. I think. You gonna see the original? So the original is um, was an experiment. Like right when I started. Um, so my whole life I was drawing like ink on, pa ink on paper, ink on paper, and filling up pages and napkins and whatever. And then in 2014 I started, um, the first thing I did was to carve the line into a linoleum block. And, um, and then I applied paints and made my own like kind of printing press. Um, so these are, um, these are different um, acrylic presses, except for the gold is actually hand, all hand inked. So um, this is like a, let's see, I'll show you. These are all, so um, this was printed on, pressed on, uh, and then the gold was all just hand inked with a pen. But uh, the original, um, that green one is based on, is coming up. I like the white subtle one. I know, too. the white subtle one is very, yeah. I saw that. So. These are, um, so these are made by, um, between every press, I would get a pencil and dig out the paint. And then there was just a little remnants left, so I would say, oh, let's see what that looks like. And then, you know, it gives me these. Um, this one I love. Um, and this is the green one that I made that from. So I made these five years ago, and then I got them back out like four years later. And um, they all had they all had the negative space. So that's when I started, you know, four years later, embellishing them um, by hand. Um, and with the green one, oh, I love this one too. This one is that pattern. Um, but with the green one, I just um, instead of adding another color, it was um, I believe it's either watercolor or gouache. I forgot what I used, but I just reactivated it with water and made this pattern. And when you do this pattern, you do the left and the right just off of eye? Or you do um, no, no. So and then open it up? Yeah, so I, ma I make these originals and then I, I scan them and then I, I make the the, uh, the the symmetry I do in post. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that so, yeah, that would be like almost impossible. Yeah. Uh, but maybe not. Um, I mean, this one is right here. It's like, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So it's all just like a process, you know? Yeah, like. Yeah, I think it's good. So I mean, like, I try to, I try to like practice not knowing what I'm doing, um, and uh, I mean, so essentially, this took like five years to make um, because I, I made the initial one first, and then I made the pattern, and then I painted on it again, uh, and then I printed it on velvet. So all of them have so much history to them. Um, yeah, beautiful couch. Here. Really beautiful couch. Oh, this is the original that the uh, the Mayan warrior one is based on. So it has this kind of like metallic line. Um, 
And this I made because uh, I had a friend over with her 10 year old son and we, I wanted to have like an art day with him. So we, um, he painted his thing, I painted mine and um, I let him use, you know, some of my paints and he found some of like the good ones. He said, oh, can I use this, this red marker? And I was like, oh, I haven't opened that yet. Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? Yeah, 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 go ahead and use it. You know, I was like protecting it for some reason. <laughs> um, so he started painting with it and I was like, oh my God, I love that red. Can I borrow that when you're done? He was like, sure. So I used that red to uh, start this one and I did red, orange. This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, six uh, lines all, all on top of each other. Uh, and then of course I decided to name the piece uh, after the boy. So this one's called Julian with an E. Uh, and then this pattern is called the, the Julian pattern, the Mind Warrior one. So I went from that to, to that. So yeah, if you bring a kid over here, I'll make something with him, I'll name the piece after them. <laughs> uh, um, this, um, so this is, um, I met this other artist who, um, yeah, Karen, you know Karen? Yeah, I know. Oh, cool. So yeah, so she, I met her recently and she photographed Andy in, you know, the 70s, right? Um, so she has a collection of, um, prints, so I'm going to draw my line probably all over the negative space, but also base, uh, do a portrait uh, based on her photograph. So she did something with, I've been there a project, she has like one with retina. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah, she's fun. She's actually going to Cuba. Um, we're both going to be in Cuba at the same time in two weeks. Okay. She's going to do like a mural project as well, and I'm going to paint a mural on the rooftop nice. of a gallery there. So you can see that when you fly over. I'm so stoked. Um, not to belabor the patterns, but here are the wallpaper versions of these. Like, I like this one too. This, this one is so sick. So these two right here are so yeah. sexy. Yeah, this one. I can't wait to see this. This is the dragon pattern. So I want to see this in like, you know, a sexy hallway with like, with, um, with candles. Um, it's, it's, it's like yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. We'll see what they can pay. I don't know. I don't want the U.S. government asking me, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> I just had a Russian friend over yeah. my house tonight. Yeah. <laughs> um, here are the birds in Sparkle. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's like diamonds, diamond covered. Yeah. Part of the Swarovski. Yeah, I actually met one of the creatives at Swarovski yeah. at Basel, Hong Kong, and she, yeah, she offered to let me come see the showroom and get get some some, some goodies. Yeah, this one is on like this kind of like um, textured paper that looks like a, and then I know you're gonna love these pineapples. Check this out. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I met with um, so I met I met this Chinese guy a few years ago at this art gallery opening, and I like complimented his jacket, and then we had a whole conversation. He came to my studio, um, he saw all the work, and said, you know, you should bring your work to China. So I did, and I went to Shanghai three times, and that's where I met the woman who commissioned me to make the Buddha. Uh, but he also introduced me to his mentor, Diane von Furstenberg, and so I did um, I did. Uh, a portrait of her when she was 22 based on a Francesco Scavulo photograph, which I'll show you. I think it's here. Um, and when I was there with her, I showed her like some of these fabric samples and she kind of flipped out over the pineapple. Yeah. So she's uh, she's interested in the pineapple. It hasn't moved forward yet, but we'll see. I don't um, know if you know, like those things kind of like horses, you know, horses and, and like, for example, somehow rats are in there, you know, like a rat and yeah. cats. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, I'm just like dying to see these in a room. Yeah, I'll be like, like a bathroom. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, everything in gloss black. I know, I know this. It's gonna be a long video. Um, and then, um, my zebra pattern. Zebra in black, um, and then all the palm trees. So it's endless. There's the pink one. There's the peach one. There's the black one. <laughs> I just kind of go nuts. I kind of go nuts um, because I can. Here's like a Stevie Wonder. Oh, this is nice. So you know, for his recording studio, probably only I don't know, or uh, his manager. Um, you have to give him some texture, you know, so you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, I know you can actually. Oh yeah. So what I, what I want to do is um. Oh yeah. So I want to I want to laser uh, I want to laser engrave that one into this like a uh, Corian like marble like material and then put a light make it into a light box so that he can see it and feel it. Yeah. Because uh, maybe he can see some light. 
but also feel like his braids, a Japanese paper making workshop. Uh, and I made a few pieces of paper, so when I came back, you know, it was very sacred to me. So I wanted to um, play around with the, the line is the negative space. So I painted a uh, sand and gold, acrylic gold. So this is all has sand on it. So I really love it. Yeah. And the frame kind of just makes it. And then it's framed on uh, velvet, yeah. white velvet. So yeah, this definitely goes to like some royal family here, yeah. the Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the line starts here, and um, like I said, the line is the negative space, so it's, it yeah, was a... Uh, this one is very stimulating. I know. It's very stimulating. No, this, this makes you feel, it makes you feel like, uh, you know, these other boosts of, of uh, energy. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. There's a, I can show you the, the mirror image version of that is this. So I can make um, a rug out of this, or I can just make a large print. Um, I just love like all the texture and the gold and then the flash for my camera. So, yeah, so I'm just constantly experimenting. Um, the Buddha I made, um, like I said, this was um, the original was commissioned by a woman in Shanghai, and she told me that it was. Um, she said there was going to be a spiritual journey for me to learn about who he is. His name is Siddhi Garba, spelling starting with a K. So he's one of the four principal bodhisattvas in Buddhism, and um, he's like the go-to. Um, bodhisattva to pray when you're feeling lost or in the dark. So if you ever see a Buddha with this little light orb, this wish fulfilling jewel and a staff, that means it's him. He comes in like many different shapes, but those are his two identifying marks. Um, so he's also the protector of children, uh, lost children, unborn children, and he's often depicted with children around him. Um, and he has a a mantra that you can listen to uh, on YouTube. So the whole time I was painting him, I listened to the mantra over and over and over and over. Um, and so much so that when I got to China to finish it, right before I delivered it, um, like the internet went out and I didn't have the mantra. And I wanted to be able to say and also to experience like listening to it the whole way through. And so I thought, what do I do? What do I do? I can't, the internet's out, I can't hear it. Hear it. And then I remembered that I, I kind of knew it. Like it was in my head. So I just sat in silence as I finished the Buddha, not needing the music, but just listening to it in my head, going over and over. And I realized, you don't, I didn't need what I thought I needed, that um, it could be in my mind. And yeah. count just the same. Mm -hmm. uh, so with that, I finished it and delivered it, and now I'm making different versions. So this is, you know, a seven foot version, uh, print on paper. Um, and then I also made a version on, uh, in wood. It's uh, laser engraved, so it's like coming out of a piece of teak wood. Yeah, that one is really cool. I'll show you a picture of that. That's, um, that one's very special, so that one's being framed right now. Let's see. It seems like it's like, uh, just like how your brain, brain sparks work. Like it's, yeah. You're know, watching, you know, like all the, the neural pathways, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's, really very... it's like it reminds you of serenity, like in a luminous serenity. So I'm gonna take this. Um, I'm gonna take this print. I'm gonna roll it up and take it to Art Basel, Miami, and put it up somewhere. You know, somewhat, somewhat legally. Somewhat legally. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna see where it fits and wheat paste it up. Um, so we'll see. This is what the the laser engraved version looks like. So it's like really deep. Gorgeous. Um, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have a piece of gold that will be jewelry that will sit inside there. I'm gonna try to see if I can have gold poured into the Corona as well, so it can be like a, like a, like a yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll see. So this will send the camera if the picks it up. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very deep engraving, all in a teak, uh, teak wood, which is from Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see what else can I show you. This is my this is my three foot cock. Um, the line starts here, and ends there, uh, you know. I guess we're going to start a video from there. What's that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> three foot cock. My three foot cock. So actually I, have, I made an eight foot cock because uh, for the Bombay Beach Biennale, are you familiar with Bombay Beach? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like this kind of, you know, deserted, dilapidated community that they're trying to revitalize through this underground art movement called the Bombay Beach Biennale. So I was one of the artists they asked to make. Uh, a piece, and then all of us artists made pieces that live there, so they're for the people. And so I made an eight-foot version of this and put it on the side of their house, someone's house. It's, it's, it's Stefan's doing that, right? Steph it's yeah. Stefan's house, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I, I got invited to that, I think. Oh, dude, it was amazing. Yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. So yeah, Lauren, uh, Lauren and Stefan asked me to, to make this, so. Um, I put the print on the house, and then this is the original. So, 
It's just, I'm surprised that you don't have any pieces of the Matisse, yeah, it's happening. They're, yeah. they're, uh, they're interested. They may get um, this wallpaper, actually. She's still whole room. I know. I want to do a whole room. If I could do, yeah. With the, with the yeah. Yeah. Velvet? Ugh, like that green one would be so sick. Yeah. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. I want to do velvet walls. That's what's so cool that I, I could do a room where it's all the line and it looks like my style, but I could also do a room in a very elegant way where um, the art, the carpet, the wallpaper, the rug, the upholstery is all different versions of this. So it looks like a cohesive, um, you know, representation of my work. So I can't wait to do a whole room. I feel like I would be stuck in that room all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it'd be like, just be yeah, it'd be like my studio, but you know, a lot more uh, <laughs> yeah. elegant or put together. So I uh, can't wait to do a whole room. Whoever's watching this, if you have a room for me and a budget, uh, let's do it. It'll be so cool. Cause then you can go around, you can pick up everything. I want it to be like my studio where you, you can interact with the pieces, you know? Yeah. Like I made um, three samples of rugs that are not here, they just shipped them to Miami, but the rugs could be used as tapestries. So you could put them on the wall uh, and the line is like coming out. out um, so, yeah, the rugs are really beautiful. I wish, you know, they were here still, but, um... This mask? What's that? Oh, yeah, so this mask I found in, um... Well, I got this in Florence, Italy. Uh, I was going to, like, a masquerade ball, so I had oh. to, um... So I thought I wanted to, like, to make it look like no one else's. I love that. Oh. So beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that's gorgeous. Maybe I'll wear the hat. Oh, yeah. yeah, is it cool? So maybe I'll wear this for the rest of the interview. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eyes wide, eyes wide open. You need to put my yes. shoes on. So the eyes wide shut. Yeah, and then I'll put my shoes on. Eyes wide shut. So these um, I actually found on the street in Rome. Yeah. Um, there was like a bag of clothes that someone had thrown out. Maybe like a boyfriend got mad at a girlfriend or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, that's what I, I think happened. But they were brand new. Yeah. I smelled them. They'd never been worn. Mm. Uh, they saw like the plastic on the bottom of one of them. Um, and they were, you know, it said made in Italy, Max Mara. I'm like, oh, they look like nice shoes. Uh, so uh, I painted on them the line starting in the strap. So I went back to the hotel, painted on them, and then I got home and realized they're like, you know, $700 shoes. I'm glad I didn't know that before because maybe it would have been more precious with them. But drawing on these made me realize that, yeah, there's a whole collection of shoes yeah. and the right brand to work with. Um, yeah, so let's do, I'm gonna find the right, the right set to make a whole. So I wanna do like, I wanna put those in a glass box. So I wanna make a collection of, you know, yeah, pieces that are, you know, function as art and that are one-offs, and then also the printed version for, you know, for purchase. Uh, these bananas actually are going to a show. Um, these I found at my friend's house, and um, I asked her if I could just paint on them, so she said yes, and then uh, she said I could keep it. So I'm going to send these to a show in Denver um, that's starting next week, um, and then also doing another little banana collection. Nobody can tell you no. Like, it was What's that? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. So you can draw some new? Okay. Yes, please. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, this piece I found at um, like a thrift store, a thrift, at the Fairfax flea market. Um, so the line starts in the corners of the mouth, so the, the line is like overtaking him. This is so dark. This is insane. So I want to do a. Um, and then he's eating. <gasps> he's eating. And, uh, he's I eating my own. I love that piece. This one? Yeah. Oh, that's so. No, no, so, I'm, saying, I'm saying the face. Oh, the face, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. the face. So I got up in his nostril. I don't know how I did it. Um, but this was before I had a studio, so I was just sitting on my couch at home. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I also have one that is inside like a paper cup. Um, yeah, it's like a... Where is that? Right here. Yeah, somehow I got into the inside of this paper cup. <laughs> what? Very yeah. Much much. yeah. This like the pine cones inside the cup too. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, I got these pine cones from somewhere because I'd never seen the cutest little pine cones in the world. So cute. They're so cute, <laughs> right? So I want to draw pine cones at some point. Yeah. Maybe the, you know the, based on these. Uh, but this, this I did like on a job. I was on a job and I just was had some downtime. So you know, anytime I have a pen and I made this for uh, my friends who um, they got engaged actually in. Um, Argentina at the southern tip, mm -hmm. uh, and they were in penguin onesies, and he, he got down on his knee and proposed to her. So um, for their wedding, I made this. I'm going to give this to them. And then um, I made like life-size four-foot versions, mm -hmm. and, like cutouts, kind of like the Buddha, uh, and had them, you know, at the wedding party. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's see. This is one of the papers I made from the Japanese paper workshop. I love so this, this was just like, you know, an experiment to see what a line coming out. Actually, I have, I have a piece of hemp paper that makes oh, the, the Declaration of Independence, basically the same, ah, same cool. type of paper. Yeah, I have like a big one. Yeah, really? Yay! Yeah. Okay, I'll do something yeah. cool with it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 
This is actually hemp. It's very textured, you know, and it'll yeah. last a long time. So it's, yeah. Thank you. I love that. Yeah, I like, I like the We can collaborate on what you think should go on there, you know? Like what colors or, um, yeah, like I said, I love like not to know, like, so I'll get a, I'll get a board or something and I'll just start with one color and then know that I don't need to know what happens next, you know? So I just constantly practice not knowing things. Like um, this one was, I also made this paper. Um, um, so it's like that. And then um, I actually applied paint and then just like rubbed it on the ground. So they get it in there and then I drew the line. Over and over. Really it's, good and it's, yeah, it. yeah. I can show you that. I, I watch. I, I mix the paint here. Actually. I would just rub it on the floor, um, and then I actually embedded in here. Inside here is a yes. It's one of my yes stickers. You can see like the little Y E S. Nice. It's inside there. Where is my yes? Um, where is it? I have a little yes sticker somewhere. Uh, uh, here. Yes. So yeah, this sticker is inside. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe like maybe rip it open one day. Yeah, yeah. something. Just, um, some. just an experiment. Um, yeah, the, yeah, then puzzle. Get the puzzle. I want to do. Um, That's great. You can do a whole. Yeah, I want to do like. Yeah, I can do a whole puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna do puzzle. These are my plates that you guys saved. Yeah. So <laughs> these plates. Um, we went to a friend's party and um, mm -hmm. I wanted to draw the line. So I found plates and markers. And made these three um and then i couldn't find them at the end of the party and i really wanted them because i feel like i was gonna do something with them i don't know it's art you know put it in a box and it's art um and so my friends here rescued them and brought them to me a couple days later so um my friend's like just let them go whatever it's just your line i'm like these took hours you know yeah. <laughs> like yeah, the yeah. line is like perfectly spaced you know the beginning and then here like i remember you telling me about this too that's this is whenever we uh met over the blue plate oh that's how we met yeah Oh, wow. Yeah, you're like, well, this is this is this thing. Like, oh, that's so funny. Elaborated on that? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, so I'll do something with these. Maybe we just go together. Um, first conversation with the Wow, that's so funny. <laughs> Over the blue plates. Blue plate special. Um, I'm going to do these um, these lamps. I'm going to have these lampshades made so I can paint a silver line. And then wow. I, I restored this to like a silver. Um, so I'm going to paint like a silver line and cover it all the way around. So I have these like custom made. Uh, and then I'm going to put that Mayan warrior uh, velvet or silk um, on a drum to make that be uh, a lampshade. Yeah. I love the, uh, the little pink girl. The pink girl. A little pink girl, yeah. yeah. I made that for this show in Palm Springs um, so like three years ago. What else do I have? Um, this is US backwards. This was my response to the election. So it's uh, backwards and the line starts in the top. And then in the bottom. Oh, I need to take this to Cuba, actually. I need to remember to take this to Cuba. So my mom is Cuban. Um, so when I do the map of Cuba, I couldn't do the land because the rule is that the line would represent either just one thing, either the land or the water. So I wouldn't be able to get over to this little island. So I did the water instead so I could show off the island. Um, and then I put these little people in there to make it look bigger. So it's like, you know, 100 feet tall. This is my first mural, according to these little people. But this, yeah, yeah. So this is like a little grandmother and grandfather. <laughs> The meeting at a museum for the first time. <laughs> it's either a love story where, you know, she finally found him or a murder. I don't know. A love like, story? A murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? one I think it's a love story. I think yeah. she's been looking for him. And there he is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take that. So this is probably going to go to Cuba yeah. and like live in a gallery there. Yeah. Um, but I need to remember to take that. You're going to be in Havana? Yeah, I'll be in Havana for like uh, 10 days. I don't know. Have you been? No, not yet. It's just one of my, it's one of my fascinations because the colors are beautiful. I have yeah. friends that went there. I mean, that's what we get you know, on the internet we see a lot, but they still have the old cars there. They're driving yeah. around with beautiful blues. Like the, old Russian cars? Yeah, the most beautiful pastel colors. Uh, uh, buildings. Yeah. Everything is, is basically a scene for the yeah. Um, yeah, it's so, um, so we wanted to draw this like pink line on top of the rooftop so you can see it when you fly over. Um, so I'm going to cover like this like 2,000 square foot rooftop with the mural, which I've never done before. So we'll see how that goes. But they didn't have, they don't have pink paint there. So we were going to try to like bring it in. Uh, and then they realized that they have red and they have white because it's the colors of red, white, and blue of the, the flag. So they have plenty of that. So we're going to mix them and make my own color pink. Yeah. Um, you guys should come. Do you want to come to Cuba? Yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah. So there's a party on uh, December 11th. Um, right after Basil that my friends are throwing at this gallery called Havana House. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll have work there and then I'll start the mural you know, a few days after the party. But you guys should come if you want. Is it possible from 10th to the 14th? Um, is it? It ends there. That's good for your phone. There you go, that's for you.
And then number two is the Buddha. Just starts here, ends there. This is good for your laptop, that's for you. And then the hearts, the hearts. Starts here, it ends there, and then we meet once in the middle. So this is a sticker that is for you, my friend. Oh, thank you. Lots of love. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh. So nice thank to you. see you guys. Mm. Oh. <laughs>